More for us. Trevor, good morning. Hey there, Frank and Jess. Good morning. So there is growing evidence of what some world leaders are already calling Russian war crimes. At this point, though, there's no unified consensus on how to respond to this. Over the past few days in particular, we've been getting more images and videos out of Ukraine, which appear to show the deliberate killings of civilians. Russian forces have recently pulled out of several cities they previously occupied, including the city of Bucha, leaving behind widespread destruction. Ukrainian officials say 410 civilians have been found dead in cities near the outskirts of Kyiv, According to the Associated Press, some of those civilians had their hands tied behind their backs and had been shot at close range. Now, despite the growing outrage, allies don't have a united response on what to do. Some European leaders are calling on European countries to more quickly cut off Russian oil supplies. In the meantime, President Biden earlier today said what he thinks should happen to Vladimir Putin. You may remember I got criticized for calling Putin a war criminal. Well, the truth of the matter is so it happened in Bucha. This warrants him, he is a war criminal. But we have to gather the information. We have to continue to provide Ukraine with the weapons they need to continue the fight. And we have to gather all the detail so this can be an actual have a war crime trial. This guy is brutal. And Russian president, or excuse me, Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky said that he would promise to investigate these alleged war crimes by uh, uh, calling his government agencies to do what they can to look into this. In the meantime, the International Criminal Court has also opened its own investigation. That's the latest here in Washington. We'll send it back to you guys in L.A. All right, Trevor.